what's up you guys? Welcome to my loud Keurig. He's doing the Lord's work though, so we're gonna let him have it. Welcome to a work week in my life video. We're back at it, another Monday, another week full of opportunities, and who knows what we're gonna come across. Currently brewing the coffee. I don't have any early meetings today, which is great. So I, it's like nine. Um, and I'm about to log on. Wow, I just might have frothed this a little too high. It's always a risky situation, you know? If you don't know me already, this is your first time here, what's up? My name's Christy, I live in New York City. I work from home at a nonprofit and I am documenting my life experience, <laughs> I suppose, uh, to an extent. We are doing a work week from start to finish, what it looks like, what we get up to. Coffee is brewing. And so am I. Does that even make sense? It's not looking good, folks. Uh oh. <laughs> Damn it, listen to that. The air bubbles. This sounds like when you have Rice Krispie cereal. Wow, that just unlocked a memory. At my camp, my summer camp when I was a kid and where I worked as a teen, we would have the Snap Crackle pop off. So, <laughs> pop off. Um, we would have cereal for breakfast once a week. And um, on that day, there was a counselor that would like lead. You'd pour the cereal in your bowl, all the kids, like 150 some odd kids in one mess hall. <laughs> and then everyone had dry cereal sitting in their bowl and they would pass down. And then they'd pass down their cups. They would all get filled with milk. They wouldn't pour them in their cereal yet. And then the counselor would be like, okay, three, two, one. And the entire mess hall was silent and everyone pours the milk and their Rice Krispies at the same time. And you just listen to the like crackle of it. <laughs> it was like a whole of it. It's the little things, you know? I am going to log into Slack and get started on work for this Monday. Working at my little new glass desk well it's not a desk <laughs> it's literally just supposed to be a laptop stand um but if you missed my weekend vlog i built this this weekend it is from ikea it is 30 dollars, and i wanted to replace this big table because i wanted something that was a little more low-key understated and see-through next to the window and it's a good level with the chair and everything and i just think it works really well and um, I have an office chair coming on Friday. So I will be able to use my desk. Also, my coffee is taking a long time to cool down. So I don't know what it is, but she is coming in hot. Fully just logged, whoa, there's too many of me in this frame. Fully just logged onto Zoom, prepping for my 10 a.m. meeting, and then I forgot that it was pushed to 12. So now I'm just staring at myself on Zoom. I did want to show you really quick that I am, in fact, sitting at my desk. I just did want a little more space and I'm kind of like over dramatic about the chair thing. I can sit in it for a while, just not all day. So I might move back and forth, but for now I'm gonna be at my desk and I honestly kind of like this background better for Zoom. I have a couple more hours before my meeting, I'm gonna finish my coffee and do other work. <laughs> back to the uh, snow shots on my vlog. Never ends. Three thirty nine p.m. It's tea time, everyone. I was like, I want to drink something warm. I really don't need to be drinking more coffee because I'm not even that tired. It's just kind of like a force of habit. And I, anyway, so I'm gonna brew it in my Keurig. I'm just gonna take out the coffee pod and then add a little milk and peppermint tea. Is the way to go. It's caffeine free. Deja vu from when I filmed this literally mere hours ago. The socks and slides are an entire work from home kind of vibe. It's 5.30. Clouds are looking cool out there. It might just be my blue light glasses making them look orange slightly. The weather has been truly all over the place today. It started out sunny, started snowing hardcore, kind of turned to rain-ish. You know, there's these cool looking artistic clouds. I have packages and I know that one of them is something that I've been waiting for for a long time that I find very exciting. I don't think I've mentioned it. You'll have to guess before I go downstairs in the next like 30 seconds of this video. Those are the things that like are exciting these days. 
is when you get mail. Anyway, tonight I'm pretty much having a very chill but still productive Monday night. Actually, it's not very chill because I don't really get to relax. Um, I need to edit the podcast and I might watch The Bachelor and I, what else do I need to do? Oh, I still need to edit part of my last video, depending on if I have time. But editing is the first priority because the podcast goes up tomorrow. My tea, and I'm gonna finish drinking this, go down, get my boxes, open them with you guys, and then get to editing. Okay, you guys, she has arrived. We got the R Place pan that I know everyone and her mother has. And I ordered this like back in January at some point. Very targeted Instagram ads literally worked on me. They really got me. If you haven't seen this, I'm gonna open it with you guys. The R Place Always Pan is like supposed to be this one-stop shop for a pan that you don't have to buy another one because it does everything and it's non-stick and it's super cute and all this stuff and it totally worked on me because my pans are like not that good and I figured like instead of buying a big set of like 12 different pans I could just buy one it's definitely taken over a month but I know that there's a long waiting list because these are in high demand because they're all hyped up and stuff da -da -da. oh she's so cute welcome to our place we believe the strongest connections are made over a home-cooked meal. This must be the lid. You might need this. Oh, they have something to clean it. That's nice. This is the lid. I got it in the spice color. So it's kind of like, it's kind of hard to see in here, but it's like a orangey, neutrally pinky. For anything you need to nudge, flip. Oh, yes. They have a spatula that comes with it. It like hooks onto the pan. Oh, it's so smooth. Don't want to seem cardboard. That's cool, I've never used anything like this, like a steamer on my stove. The Always Pan is designed to help you do more with less, so get ready to steam, saute, braise, fry, stew, boil, sear, serve. I'm gonna wash this off. I also have leftovers from last night that I made, so I'm not even gonna cook tonight, but I'm getting hella fresh this week, and I'm sure as heck excited to cook it in this pan. So, feels like a non-stick pan. <laughs> How handy is that? Oh, yep. There we go. Me. Kind of an investment for me because I don't usually spend that much on cookware, but again, I thought this could serve a lot of different purposes and be kind of like a multi-use. I'll have it linked down below, even though I'm sure you all have heard of this and seen it blowing up your Instagram, but I'll just contribute to that. Cheers. I just got off my last meeting. I've had like back-to-back -back meetings this morning. I haven't had to be on camera for all of them, but it's just, I'm ready to eat something. Gotta microwave my coffee. This is my second one. I cleaned my all place, all place, our place always pan last night and it's ready to go. So I think I might actually use it and make an egg to put on my avocado toast tonight, sir. And I just want to test it out. I want to see how it works. I'm very curious. I also just think it looks so cute on my little counter. I'm not really sure where I'm going to keep it. It's supposed to be nonstick, but I still want to use a little bit of spray. Just a light spritz. Let's give it a nice medium heat. I almost never make eggs anymore. I literally just bought this for the cornbread that I made and I never, I never eat them like alone. Has anyone ever had a stove that was completely level? <laughs> like, I feel like it's always tilted no matter what. Why not? All right, step one, I'm gonna toast some bread. Okay, looking good, it's been a couple minutes. Let's it's give her a flip. If any of you guys don't know him. Woohoo, look at that, non-stick, wow. How long did you have to save up for that? Uh, no. You guys, that was like, so honestly, easy. It is completely non-stick. And look at that. You can tell how non-stick it is because look, this is how dry it is just from like shaking it off in the sink. First impression, I know I haven't cooked that much. It was one egg, but very, very excited about this. So tonight I'll probably cook something more substantive in it because I'm supposed to get HelloFresh and that'll be the real test, but it passed the preliminary round. One eternity later. 
Okay, you guys, it is the end of the work day. Oh, I don't know. I'm just having one of those days. I'm more so stressed because of my other work, my YouTube work that I need to do also. And it's just inevitable. Like, I think I've just kind of hit that wall that I knew was coming in that every time I start a new, you know, job that's on top of YouTube, there comes a point where it like all of it together just hits me in the face. But also I thought I would talk about it because I think we all have those moments where we just like need to sit down with ourselves. I'm like trying to talk through this as I'm trying to determine my feelings. Like it's been a pretty demanding day of work, which is totally fine and normal, but then it's like, instead of getting to close it off and relax and like not work, I need to do YouTube work. And it's not that I can put it off because there's a brand that is waiting on me for this video. And so I need to do it and I want to, and it's like completely my choice to be doing social media also with my work. So I'm not trying to complain because I get that like having a lot of work is a privilege, you know, like it's a good thing. Um, but it's just that I feel that I'm not adequately managing my stress with that, I think is the problem. I need to make more time for things that recharge me, I think, is what I'm getting at. Um, so right now I'm going to the gym. I really need to edit this video, but I'm like, if I don't rip myself away from the screen for a bit and just like get some steam off, blow some steam off, get some energy out elsewhere, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> so I need to prioritize that for a bit. And it's about knowing when you're feeling really stressed, knowing yourself in those points and things you can do that will kind of alleviate it, even if it is temporary for you at that moment, what you need. Um, so I need to exercise. Honestly, what I really need is just to like lay in bed and do nothing, but I, that's not an option. I'm trying to be realistic with the types of self-care that'll actually help me. <laughs> because if I just lay in bed, I know I'm gonna be stressed later when I still have to do this other stuff. I don't mean this as a way of like complaining to you guys and I'm not looking for necessarily like pity, but I think I'm just looking to vent and to like collect my thoughts and this is the best way to do it right now. I'm just looking for someone to listen at this moment. So honestly, it feels better even just saying that. So I'm going to make an order of operations right now. Wow, I look pale and dead. Um, <laughs> I just feel that way. It's already almost six. Maybe I'll book my gym for 6.30. I'm gonna go down, get my packages. I think I have my HelloFresh here, which is exciting. And then I'm going to bring them back up, go to the gym, work out, come back, shower, make dinner, edit video, make thumbnail, upload it, send link to brand. And it's just, I feel stressed because I didn't even get to everything that I wanted to with my work work today. And that's like, like, I don't feel as accomplished there, so then it's like more of the, ah, but there's only so many hours in the day, so we are dealing with that. I'm sorry to unload all this on you guys. I feel like it might, like, people want to come to YouTube videos as, like, an escape, a relaxation from their own stresses, and here I am, like, rattling off my to-do list to you guys. I didn't even get to do that either. I did that. <laughs> Jesus. We're in this together, and I'm gonna go get my HelloFresh box. All right, and here to at least deliver me from the stress of choosing and planning my own meals is none other than HelloFresh. You guys, this couldn't have come at a better time, honestly. Chicken sausage and spaghetti bolognese. It's in Hall of Fame. Nice. I don't think I've had that one before, but I have my own gluten-free pasta, so that's good. Frank's Red Hot Firehouse Cheeseburgers. Ooh, I love Frank's Red Hot. That looks really bomb. Honestly, I might have to make that tonight. <laughs> Sweet and smoky pork tenderloin. Yum. Okay, well, I am going to make this later in the vlog. You guys will see. But I'm already stoked. So thank you, HelloFresh, for being my favorite sponsor. And I'm back. Showered like I expected. Workout immensely helped with my stress. I feel much better. And now I am so excited to eat dinner and we're making HelloFresh, the sponsor of this video. Shout out, I love HelloFresh. You guys already know, I talk about them all the time. And they're just, 
they never let me down. It is so nice to save you time. It cuts out the stress of the meal planning and grocery shopping, like I mentioned, which I love. And they just come to your door and they're like, yo, here's your dinner. Here's all the ingredients. Here's how you make it. Step by step, couldn't be easier. <laughs> it's still nice to be able to like actually cook it and learn how to cook while you're doing it. I always use tools and like things that I've learned um, when making Hello Fresh and other ways too. I just have so many recipes you can choose from every week that break out of that recipe rut. I know a lot of us are feeling like things are a lot more monotonous in quarantine and isolating and stuff, but at least like mixing it up with something small, like making a new meal is like a fun way to get something different in your routine. <laughs> this is the one I decided on. I just really wanted some sort of comfort food. So we're going for the Frank's Red Hot Firehouse Cheeseburgers. It's just honestly perfect for like busy weeknights when I have to go and you know do editing after this. So I don't want to be spending a ton of time in the kitchen, but you can get food on the table in as little as like 30 or even 20 minutes with their quick and easy options. The pre-portioned ingredients make it so easy because then there's less food waste and less prep for you too when you're just like, one person and you don't want to be buying an entire thing that you're not going to use like more than one recipe for. I also love that it's flexible because my lifestyle is kind of all over the place so it's nice to be able to like add lunches or dinners if you need. You can add sides like cheesy garlic bread and I also love knowing that they give back. They donated over 4 million meals in 2020 and they're stepping up their efforts among the coronavirus crisis. I'm very excited to make this meal. I know it's going to be delicious. I'm going to get to it and I'll show you the finished product. Wow, is it just me or does this look like very good? I'm also really hungry. So I put it on a piece of gluten-free bread because you know, you can kind of tweak things to fit you. And I did put a little cheese on as a treat because treat yourself. <laughs> and this looks amazing. And I of course had to share my code with you guys. You already know, I know you're waiting for it. It just gets better and better. And this time you get 12 free meals. So you go to hellofresh.com and use code christyv 12 to get 12 free meals, including free shipping. So again, hellofresh.com, use my code christyv 12 and you'll get 12 free meals, including free shipping. Iconic, stunning, what a legend. Okay, I'm gonna devour this and then get to editing. Okay, you guys, this pan, side note, I'm obsessed, so easy to clean. I literally cooked four burgers in here, which are usually the hardest to clean. And then afterwards, I just wiped out the oil and it's so non-stick. I'm definitely, I think this lives up to the hype. Again, we'll have to see what the other functions, but it is so easy. Okay, you guys, I just got off a couple hours of a webinar that I started my morning with. I started at eight, so I kind of just, that's why I didn't really film anything or talk before because I basically woke up, rolled out of bed, made my coffee and got online. Feeling much better today as far as like being stressed out. Once I got my video done, it really didn't even take that long and I was able to get to sleep not too late, which was good. I still have a few things that overlap from yesterday that I want to get done. So I am prioritizing. <laughs> when I get stressed, I just need to make a list and prioritize it stat or else I'll just keep thinking about all the things at once. It made me think of this um, this quote from the podcast we recorded one of the episodes this weekend that Sierra said from her dad where he says um, do first things first and don't do second things until they become first things which is so simple right it's just like prioritize your shit but it somehow makes me feel better like okay what's the first thing and I won't do the second thing until the first thing is done. I guess I should save this document really quick before I forget and go back to this mapping project that I'm working on. Do my first things first and then we'll get to the second things and it'll be fine. I have an event at three that I want to look somewhat okay for. So I do think I'm gonna get ready today. I'm also getting dinner in the city with a friend who's in town who might actually be moving to New York. So I am going to be on reservations um, to get dinner in Midtown. Actually, it's like flat iron area. Probably the warmest day it's been in a while. It's 45 right now, which doesn't seem that warm in the grand scheme of things, but the high is 52 degrees. Fahrenheit. I think things are like starting to slowly warm up because the rest of the week is in the 40s and 50s and it's been like 20s and 30s. So 
very exciting. We're gonna go get dinner and catch up with a little outdoor dining tonight. So I wanna get ready anyways, basically what I'm saying. So I'm gonna work for another couple hours, make food, get ready, um, get back to revisiting the things from yesterday and then have a meeting at three. So things are good. I'm, I really don't want this to seem that dramatic. I literally posted an Instagram story that was like working out because it's how I cope with stress. And I had people ask me like, oh my God, what happened? And it's like, it's literally just life happened and it like hit me one day. Things are fine. I'm not trying to be over dramatic, but I was just sharing how I was feeling in the moment. Back to work it is. <laughs> if I could reach the camera. Leftover HelloFresh lunch. It is so beautiful outside and I'm going a little stir crazy. So I don't really have time to like go for a walk or anything. I already took a break for lunch and got ready. I think I might go up to the roof and just get a breath of fresh air for five minutes and soak it in before the sun goes down. Yeah, it's 2.30 now and I just submitted something I was working on. Feeling good, gonna go get some fresh air and then get back from a meeting at three. It's just honestly crazy how much the weather affects your mood when you live in somewhere where it, like is colder on the East Coast than on the West Coast. You guys, it is so nice out. I could like actually cry. And like being in the sun right now, there's like a good sliver of sun on the rooftop. This is just what I needed. Anyway, I have to head back down. I've kind of just been like soaking it in and staring out at the city um, that I need to head back down to get ready for my meeting. But it's just, ugh, like, this is why I wanted to move somewhere like this. It's like, just wanting, let me flip the camera around. <laughs> anyway, this is why I wanted to move somewhere like this. It's just like, have the opportunity to come up to a roof and have a moment of peace and just like, get some fresh air without having to leave. It's literally such a blessing. I'm so, so grateful for this and this is like resetting me right now. So I'm very excited for when it gets even warmer and we can use the sun deck. But for now, I'm taking in the construction sounds and the sights. And now I feel refreshed to get back to work. The moon is out to play, folks. It just never looks as good on camera. Hey, I'm headed out the door. I just FaceTime with my friends for a little bit and caught up and I'm just wearing all black. I'm going to get dinner with my friend, like I mentioned. And um, this little Sherpa moto jacket I rented from Newly. Also not cold enough to wear like a puffer puffer. So I think this will be a good amount. And of course my Timberland Kinsey boots. Let's go. Okay, you guys, it is like later in the day on Thursday now and I don't think I filmed anything this whole day. I mean, it's the usual, but um, I started working kind of early. I had a meeting that started at eight and it was like a few hours. And um, then I've just been kind of like back to back meetings and stuff. So that's why I didn't film anything this morning, but happy Thursday. I have like a little break in my day. It's been like a lot going on. So it's just a busy week, but I have a little bit of a break that I want to go take a walk and get some coffee out as a little treat to myself. Um, even though I went out to dinner last night, which is also a treat. But yeah, it's two o'clock now. I just got off a meeting. I'm gonna go to Coffee Bean, I think. Get some sun, get some fresh air, and I could use an afternoon coffee, so why not spend money on it instead of making it at home when I could. <laughs> Done with work, the sun is setting, and I'm going to get a workout in this fine evening and do an upper body workout. I'm still gonna do a workout from the Shreddy app. It looks like fun one, <laughs> so should be good. It is 1.30 p.m. On Friday, happy Friday. We have almost made it to the weekend. And I am just picking up this camera for the first time today because I've had nothing to say. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of a break. Again, I realized I got like a total of two clips yesterday. I wanna go for a walk and just go to a little bodega because I ran out of gluten-free bread and I 
eat that every day. So I'm gonna pick that up and a couple small things. Um, I also really am craving sushi for some reason and I'm going to bend to that craving and pick up some sushi in this bodega has it not as expensive. So I'm just gonna do like a little run, have my sushi while I continue working for the afternoon. My office chair is supposed to arrive today, so I'm really excited to hopefully get it and build it in this vlog and show you guys what it looks like. I think it's gonna be a chill Friday night. I'm gonna do a workout, self tan, just relax. Okay, I made it back. Um, I just got a few things. I got a spicy tuna roll. I've honestly never, I never get tuna um, because I always get salmon, but they were out. And this looked good, so I was like, you know what? Why not? More oat milk. This is the Oatly Barista Blend. And my gluten-free bread. This is one of my favorites, the Canyon Bakehouse. I saw this and I've never seen it before. Apparently it's new. Skinny Pop has kettle corn. So I thought it'd be good to try. It's the sweet vanilla flavor. 56 calories per cup. Yum, I love kettle corn. I got some more bacon. Honestly, Applegate is definitely my favorite brand, but it is very pricey. And then I got two Olipop flavors that I haven't tried yet. I got root beer and cherry vanilla, which I wouldn't usually reach for, but I do really like Shirley Temples, which are cherry. So I thought that this would be probably good. Six hours later. Okay, it is five o'clock. We are done and officially onto the weekend. So I just went down and got my mail and I got a couple of things from Amazon. This one, you guys were quick to hit me with so many suggestions after I had talked about like the baby hairs sticking up, which I'm pretty sure is just from damage and like having thin hair and then using heat on it and such. Um, but a lot of people messaged me, DM'd me, commented different ideas, and I decided to try this one from Amazon. It's a little hair finishing cream in the form of a mascara tube, which is pretty iconic and honestly smart. The brand is Best Land Hair Finish Cream. I'll try and remember to put this on my Amazon page. It honestly could be mascara, <laughs> but it's clear and it is like hair cream. It's very light. I mean, I haven't put it on my hair yet. Um, but also my hair's kind of greasy, so it's not sticking up right now. So I'll try this next time I do my hair after I wash it. And I'm very intrigued, but it doesn't feel like too heavy of a product like a pomade would be. And the most exciting of them all is my chair is here, my office chair. This is gonna look so much better and be so much more comfortable. And I'm very excited for it. This is a good color gray not too dark not too light all you need is a light jacket i should probably locate the instructions we have many a piece here let's see this looks like the seat wheels armrests in the back okay simple enough i've actually never built a chair that i can think of but again i like to think i'm good at building things so we are going to unwrap all this stuff and then figure it out from there eventually Okay, this thing was honestly a hassle and a half to put together, but we did it. I almost gave up a couple times. Final placement. Is that it? <laughs> Ta da! And there she is. Da, 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 da. Do I dare sit in it and watch me like fall to the ground? Ta da! Wow. You can't even see my face. It's honestly a little smaller than I expected. I wonder if it could go up or down from there. Oh, it goes up from there. Okay, that's good. It's pretty low on the back, but still like the right amount of support. All right, the final look at the desk before the chair. Let's do one of those um, fun transitions. New chair in three, two, and there she is, folks. Yes, I really like this. It's nice and low, and I didn't want it to like overtake the mirror because then I could still stand in front of the mirror and use it. It's a good color, I think to complement it and it fits under the desk. Also it rolls really nicely and it's like smooth. The real test will be when I work all day sitting here, um, but for now I think it's gonna be good. I wanna wash my hair tonight and I kind of was thinking, I don't really wanna do a super intense workout, but I think I'm just gonna go down and do some cardio and get a little bit of exercise, some movement in if I'm gonna wash my hair anyway, you know? Well, that is going to wrap up this vlog, I think. Um, it is Friday night, and I just put on self-tanner. I just got back from the gym and showered, and 
Here's the night view with all of my lights reflecting. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this work week in my life. It was busy, like I said, and I got a little stressed at times, but that's totally like my own time management and such, nothing to do with my job or anything. I love you guys so much, thanks for watching. If you're new around here, subscribe. I should probably should have said this at the beginning, but hit that subscribe button, click the bell to get notified when I upload. I know sometimes people say that they don't see my videos in their subscriptions or something, so you can always get notified. And yeah, that's about it. Love you guys so much. See you in my next vlog very soon. Peace out.